Welcome back to Let's Play Sundog Frozen Legacy. We are on Planet Fur. We've explored all the cities looking for cryogens. Now we're going to go into orbit and then we're going to go to the other two planets in the system looking for cryogens. So it's probably a good bet that there's at least one cryogen on these two remaining planets. So the next planet is called Furwork. Not Industron. Industron is the starport city on that planet. But yeah, we're going to take a nap. And then once we're here, we're going to go to the city. Industron. Hmm, I'm guessing it's a pretty industrial city. Like the city of industry in L.A. Maybe they got lots of warehouses and stuff. We'll see. Alright, so there's two cities on this planet, so it shouldn't take too long to explore the whole thing. Alright, so... Let's see if we can find this commodities exchange. And we'll check prices in addition to seeing if they have a cryogen. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. Any cryogens here? Nope. Alright. Looks like... They got just typical stuff. About average price. Nothing really standing out. So why don't we get a bite to eat and see what they sell here. Eh, concentrators, Nutripacks, Dex Boosts, Charmers, Pep Tabs. The Nutripacks boosts all your abilities up to 100 temporarily. So as such, they're more expensive. Now let's see what the overland map of the planet looks like. Okay, well it's kind of brownish. Kind of like John, if you remember from episode 1. when we went to go to Banville for the first time. Not a lot of variety in the planets I s I'm finding. Okay. So let's go to the next city. Called The Mines. And I'm guessing there's mines there. Providing the raw materials for Industron. You know, it's a guess. Don't take my word for it. Now that looks just like a dirt lot over there. It looks like there's a lot of just dirt lots everywhere. It looks kind of ghetto, actually. Alright, so we've got to go up 
and to the right. Yeah, it looks like a lot of dirt lots with weeds around here. Man, no cryogens on this planet at all? Hmm. Well, yeah, stuff is uh, pretty average priced here. No standout items. No rare items. Let's hightail it to the next planet. Usually in these uh, triple planet systems, there's like just one main planet with all the cities that you're gonna want to go to the other two are just small populations don't have a lot of cities don't have a lot to see don't have anything special in their commodities exchanges okay so the planet is called snowball and the city is called icebox so I'm guessing it's pretty cold here it looked like it considering how far away from the star it was and this is the only city on this planet. So I'm guessing we're not going to be spending a lot of time here. That is convenient though, having the uh, commodities exchange right next to the depot. Okay, no cryogens. Uh, they got CAD cams and pretty cheap too, so I'll keep that in mind. But I can get those items closer. This is pretty far flung, this system, just to come for this. Okay, that's where we're going to go to. We're going to go to HEPA. There's one planet there. So, since there was no cryogens on these other two planets, we'll go here and try to get it from here. So, let's go fuel up. while the engines are charging. And we'll transfer our cash to there. Yeah, all of it. All right. So we're leaving the city of Icebox on planet Snowball. Sounds like something from Spaceballs. And then as soon as we get to the warp point, we'll uh, warp out. Now you can top off your tank after you set the warp on the planet. Once you set the warp, it draws some gas, and then you don't have to leave the planet right away. You can go back to the 
starport and buy fuel to top off your tank. Give you an extra edge when you're fighting pirates or such. I decided not to go to Enley for right now. I, I'm going to save that till later. Since I'm here in this part of the sector, I might as well go to this uh, system in the corner. Okay, so on planet Hepa with an H, we're landing on the city of Arlenair. Or Arlenair. So let's see if they have anything that we need cryogens wise. Okay. Well, since my uh, pod is full of scatter guns, I don't just want to park in any little parking space to go to the public transport. I gotta find, like, a designated lot like up there. Let's see if I can find one closer or right next to a public transport. It'll minimize my walking time. That way I won't get attacked by muggers like I was in the last episode. Well, they sure do like to put their parking lots quite a bit away from their public transports. Well, it looks like I don't need it after all. There's the commodities exchange. Okay, no cryogens. Um, expensive items here. Except for synthesizers, that's pretty average. Especially stimulants, those are expensive. If I need those, I'll just go to Lafser. Alright, so while we're here, let's gas up so we don't have to come back to the city. Two more cities we gotta check. And now we're going to Velami. Going from Arlener to Velami. See if we can find something there. Okay. Is there a public transport anywhere around here? No, oh, there's one. Alright, let's just screw it. Let's, let's just go see where we need to go. Alright. Down and to the right. Well, I thought it was around here. Okay, there it is. Okay, there's that crowd gen, so let's get it. Now we can go back to Banville. Oh, cheap organics for quality A. Wow. I might have to check that out later. Yeah. It's too bad I don't have a space. But like I was saying, we can go back to Banville. Complete the phase and then see what we uh, are going to need. For... I believe it's phase 7. That's going to be the next phase. 
So we're well on our way. Okay, one more city to check out. Eswa, I'm guessing. Eswa? Esoit? Like Detroit? Esoit. Or Eswa. I'll just say Eswa. That sounds better than Esoit. I'll use the French pronunciation for it. Oh great, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and I have no idea where to go. Okay. So bad you don't have like a good map of the city while you're coming in, or anything like that. Hmm. Okay, there's a building. So now I know I'm going in the right direction. And there's a public transport, so let's see where we need to go. Alright, just straight on to the left. Let's do it. Okay, but no, there's no cryogens here, is there? No, there's not. Okay. So, kind of cheap radioactives and kind of cheap art objects. I mean, I've seen those for about double the price. Everything else is kind of expensive. Alright, so I guess we'll just uh, head on back to Banville and then drop these off. Now, I wonder if I could just warp straight to Jond. It's probably too far. I'll probably have to hop it to an intermediate system. Okay. Let's see. Okay, 11 jump seconds. I know that's way out of the maximum jump. What if we go to last for? Yeah, that's 10 jump seconds. Okay. Wormed. That's pretty close. Alright, so we're going to go back into orbit and then we're going to go to the warp point warp to the wormed system and then we're going to warp back to Jond and we are pretty close to a warp point so let's just go to one that I know is going to be closer to planet Jond and then we'll just rest up for right now okay we're there gonna set the warp to jond from wormed. We don't even need to mess around in this system at all. Yeah, okay, so that warp point is gonna put us near where we want to be. It shouldn't take too long to get to Planet John from here. Let's take a nap to speed it up anyway.
Okay, we're here. We're well on our way. Get back in the pod and complete phase six. Okay, so we got two cryogens we gotta drop off. And we got 18,400 credits for doing that. Not bad, okay. So we need fruits and veggies. Organics, more Scylla chips, bio chips, stimulants now, two loads of cryogens. So we're probably going to have to visit two more systems. Okay, and gens crystals. And, and then it repeats. So, I'm going to get most of these items here on John, to, all that I can, off camera. I'll probably have to go to Lasper to get the stimulants. But this is Big Low signing off. Have a good day.